Good morning, folks. We've got updated agreement in hurricane forecasts and Florida is under the gun. We had a volcano go off and a fascinating Cosmic Ray article, but the big story is on the sun. No less than eight M-class solar flares erupted from that major sunspot group and one of them blasted a CME right at us. Let's break it all down, starting with the X-ray flux. These are the solar flares you can see peaking in power overnight. Let's watch those eruptions off the southern active region here in 131 angstroms. Bright flashes coming off ionized iron as X-ray emissions release. The flares were causing short-lived radio blackouts over the sunlit portion of the Earth. Thanks for feeding Irma, by the way, Sol. And it also has caused ongoing proton radiation storms. It hit level 2 this morning. But the practical concern is for the CME. We'll watch its release twice here on SDO, expanding and snapping fields, followed by more flashes. And on SOHO coronagraphs, we can see ejecta leaving 360 degrees of the sun from our view, called a halo eruption, and that means it is coming at Earth. NASA's Enlil spiral is updated here. We're still waiting for NOAA's. Sun is in the center, planets all around, Earth is marked in yellow on their charts, and here, the blast rippling out, obviously that is the CME. NASA forecasts impact around 1800 UTC tomorrow, and that's not too bad a forecast if I don't mind saying so. So we've had solar flares, a radiation storm ongoing, a CME will almost certainly hit Earth and likely do so in the second half of tomorrow. This was not a solar kill shot. No need to bug out or head for the hills. But strong geomagnetic storms are possible and we will need to be watching for the traditional types of disruptions. It is also worth noting that we've already had a cardiac and psychiatric alert go out through the disaster prediction app due to solar flares, proton radiation, and a small geomagnetic storm that occurred overnight. But upon this CME impact, we could be sending out the first high alert for those patients. Lastly, on this front, we cannot yet be sure the fun is over up at our star. Let's contrast the large, active region spread magnetically like a middle school dance on the northern hemisphere with a much smaller but vastly more dangerous grouping on the south. It's got a beta-gamma-delta magnetic mixing in close quarters there, and that is what makes solar flares. Let's run down now as we're seeing a volcano erupt in the East Pacific, really hoping that relieves pressure from the region. Up next, we're coming to the Crab Nebula, where about a thousand years ago, Chinese astronomers spotted a star explode. We can see it in numerous wavelengths of light here from Chandra, and today, scientists are announcing that cosmic ray sources within it are all due to one electron level at the source. It exceeds models of energetic uptake and requires a major rethink for how these particles are reaching their energies. Let's come now to the hurricane alert. Folks, we've got both GFS and the Euro model coming, but... Not much of a difference now. Late on September 10th, Euro model shows Irma smashing into southern Florida and jumping straight north. And that is exactly what we see on the GFS model as well, just 12 hours earlier. Impact to Florida on the 10th, then a run north. Folks, if you have the disaster prediction app, you got a number of notifications yesterday about these solar events. Here's to hoping for a calmer day today. And when we get a little closer to Irma's landfall impact, We'll be sending out an alert about that one as well. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got your wind maps, null school run, and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5.05 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.